What's going on guys? Attica from the Attica World Network here to bring you some more of our Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough and I'm just going to be blatantly honest with you guys. I'm in love with this game right now. The, the mechanics function so much like Advance Wars and it kind of has that really addicting you know, tactical RPG kind of feel. Characters are interesting and um, you know Robin, my favorite one of them all, is just such a deep character you know considering that he has amnesia and all that. It's an amazingly fun game to play and in the last few episodes you guys saw there was it was a loss to the team because of me not knowing that Pegasus Knights are extremely weak against arrows. So that was a fluke entirely depending upon my own lack of knowledge on the game. But you guys are going to be happy to hear something. Now, um, I'm keeping the same game mode. I'm keeping everything the same because, you know, I kind of find this game mode to be extremely fun because there's actually some risk on the line. So I feel more of an attachment to these characters. And I feel like that's something that a lot of gamers lack nowadays sometimes when their playthroughs is an attachment to the actual game. They're just playing through it. But I actually like the fact that my heart is inside of this. So anyways, like I said, there are some things that happen off camera. Now, nothing story-wise happened. As you guys can see, this is a story, but I didn't do any of that yet. But what did happen is um, some other places on the map opened up and um, I was able to get a new character, this Donald guy, and his stats suck, and he's really, really weak, but I managed to not let him die yet, so I'm doing pretty damn well. I remember reading a comment in the, in the um, comment section on one of my videos saying that, you know, Etika, when you get that Donald guy, I didn't know who you were talking about, but then as soon as I saw the name in the mission, I was like, oh, when you get Donald, level him up because right now he's weak but you said that he would be a powerhouse later on and so I'm like okay well you know what let's stick with it and I like the guy he's cute I mean he's a really cute guy like you know all right <laughs> it's hilariously adorable so you know I'm, I like Donald and I'm gonna be using him uh, more often now and um, you guys can't see this right now but Donald is actually level 10 and um, he's so, so you know considering everything I learned from a lot of my mistakes and you know even though this is hard mode it's not impossible mode so you know I feel really good about that my tactics my tactics are getting really on point now Sumia was a sad loss that you know I'm not going to reset for because I told you guys before I'm not resetting anything in this game and you know as pig-headed using terminology that some of you may have said in comments before as that may be I, I just feel like this is a better alternative because you know I mean I already set this goal out for myself I kind of want to get closer to these characters even more you know and I'll admit you know in this time that I've been off camera you know sure maybe you guys are saying oh don't do stuff off camera but you know this it's impossible with a game this addicting the game this good Maybe I won't do the story. I won't do any of the story off camera, but there will be some side missions I do off camera. I'll try to refrain from doing a lot of them off camera, though, so you guys can see. But yeah, we leveled up a lot of these people. Like Lisa right now is a level 11. Um, Fred Dick is level 7. Donald's level 10. Muriel, who I like a lot, is level 10 as well. Robin, he's 14 because this dude is a beast. Kellum, I like him a lot. He's level 10. Virion, he's level 9. Sully, she's level 8. Krom is level 11. And to be honest, even though I do like Style, he hasn't really gotten much airtime yet because of Sully being there. And and Vake, or Vike, Vake I think, I haven't used him that much because I just don't really, I don't have an attraction to him as a character. He doesn't entice me, so I haven't really been using him. But, um, so he's level two or three. But all these other guys, well, besides Style, have been getting some really good use for me. They're all pretty much around the same level, level nine or 10. And um, I think this is great because we actually got a posse here. The monsters kept appearing on the map and I used some of my money to buy um, those reeking boxes. So I have very little money at the moment, only 890 gold. No, excuse me, 89 gold. So that sucks. But um, guys, I wanted to bring up something as well with you dudes. Um, when I go into my wireless, right? I go into the bonus box. What's going on? Because everything that I have here has already been unlocked. Like, look, Virion's Arch Quest, blah, 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 Styles Horseman, all this stuff. Look, Challenger already unlocked, Challenger already unlocked, Challenger already unlocked. So I'm like, you know, what the hell is going on? And when I look for more DLC to, to use with the game, I'm told this. I can't connect to the store. So using these examples, I came up with two conclusions. Either my internet is messed up on my 3DS for some reason, or the Fire Emblem game, or these are all DLCs that have already been unlocked for me. I don't know how this happened, I don't know what's going on here, but all this stuff I have in my inventory right now, all these items right now, I don't know what's going on. And um, bonus teams as well. What the hell is this? Because I went to this, right? And look, King Marth? <laughs> what's going on? I don't know what's happening, guys. This is crazy. I'm thinking this has to be DLC that's already on my game. Like, look, what's this? 
What are these, who are these people? This is one feature that I don't understand. Like, so I go to this and I says parlay, right? Parlay with King Marth, man. The king of Altair. Like, what the hell's going on, yo? I don't understand, man. I mean, I can recruit him apparently, but I do not have the bread for that, man. As you guys can see, I got pennies in my pocket right now. And this guy, he wants a stack. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight him either. And he has amazing stats too. But um, anyways, yeah. So kind of interesting. Let me let me dismiss him because you know I can just have him come back. You know. So this is pretty cool. I'm thinking that all the DLC in my game is unlocked already. And I didn't buy any, so um, I don't know. What the hell is this shop here? Oh, oh this is a cutie in. pie. All right, so she has, so she has um bronze sword, bronze worm slayer, <laughs> worm slayer. It's a D rank weapon, a hammer, bow. We can't afford any of this stuff, but um, yeah, we can't afford any of this stuff. I wish I could show you guys my actual stats on the top screen. We don't have the money for any of this shit. None of this. But yeah, I guess I'll be able to show you guys my stats in the next in the next game. But yeah, I took some time as well to memorize the weapon wheel, memorize how certain attributes of weapons work. So you know, I'm not running in there with not knowing what I'm doing. You know, these guys are still alive. I played a lot off camera just to train and to learn more about the games and go through tutorials. So. We'll see how I do, but now we are going to finally get into some story. And by the way, I read you guys' comments talking about the support missions. The support. And um, when you talk to people in this, apparently it levels up their relationships. So I've been doing it a little bit, but then I remembered you guys probably want to see this off camera. So I stopped doing it and I'm going to be doing this all right now. Just so you guys can see. So we're going to talk, go Frederick. He's going to talk to Virion. Virion and Frederick, I've been pairing them up a lot because, you know, it's good to have that massive defense around when Virion's trying to snipe people out. And so, it's been working out really well for me. That's why these guys now are about to get a C rank relationship, I think. Or a B rank. He's gone, Miriam. Many thanks. Is he then? Phew, that's a relief. My apologies for the bother. To think that poor fool would trudge all this way for a mere handful of coin. Ah. One would need hands of freakish size indeed to cradle that much gold. Virion and Fred Dick kind of go together, man. I mean, I kind of like Fred Dick a bit more now, but still, him and Virion go together like, like black and white. Um, pray tell, how does a fellow even begin to create such a vast amount of debt? Oh. My dear sir, there are a thousand ways, preferably all accomplished at once. <laughs> Alas, no more. Besides, there's another matter I'm curious about. Do tell. Indeed. No. Before you left, that man offered to finance our efforts here. <clears throat> I declined. Yes, yes. Mm, yes, probably for the best. Explain. This doesn't strike you as odd? I just saw a man track down his debtor only to offer his companions additional coin. Wait a minute, let me, let me change my light setting so this way you guys can see me clearly now. Okay. In what world is that not madness? No, I... It seems perfectly logical to me. Should something untoward happen before I repay him, the debt dies with me. It's well within his interest to ensure I survive this bloody mess. You racked up a debt so large it has ties to his welfare of yours? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm not the capacity to determine if such actions are genius or madness. You're cunning. You're, you're a cunning fit to shame a fox, Virion. <laughs> Aha, but you flatter me, sir. But do go really? on. Mark my words, fox. If your sulking about ever comes to a burden on Krom... Yes, yes, you'll have my skin for a stole. I'm quite aware, Fred Dick. I happen to be fond of my skin, so I'll give you, I'll give you my word. No ill shall come from my deeds. Believe. Keep your word and you'll keep your dick. How is that a support relationship? They kind of seem like they got beef. They, they both kind of have somewhat of the same vernacular, but that seems like beef to me. Um, they got support level B, so that's good. Oh, and Fred, and you know, I've been pairing Fred Dick a lot with Muriel, so I guess this is where he'll come in with her. Good. This gay sex is amazing. <laughs> You are not using your strength wisely. Too much wasted movement. Go and practice what I tell yes, you. Sir. sir, thank you, sir. I never see this nigga on the battlefield. Ah. Hmm. Fred Dick. Yes. Muriel, what brings Hold you here? Hold a moment. Fascinating. I was convinced that young lad... I, I was convinced that young lad had you dead to rights. <laughs> when his blow was about to land, you parried with the merest flick of your arm. Such a feat would seem to defy all natural laws. What is your secret? To what forbidden dark arts are you privy? Always impressive. If you saw my arm move, then your eye is sharper than most. What? 
Frederick is nice. <laughs> Holy shit. When my master at arms first showed me that technique, I did not see as much. Very gracious of you. A woman of science is first and foremost an observer. <laughs> ah, and a keen eye is a fine weapon. And I, I got a fine weapon to show you right now. <laughs> but I don't think that you came here to discuss swordplay. Or maybe she did, Fred Dick. Maybe she did. Right. On that count, you are wrong. I want you to teach me that move. Oh, it is no easy trick to learn. Very well. I'm a patient woman. My thanks. Very well then. Shall we begin? <laughs> Let's go, Fred Dick. My nigga Freddy D. <laughs> My nigga Freddy D. Now Donald, he's been getting closer to Robin because you know I've been pairing Robin with Donald a lot because when he pairs up with him, he gives him a lot of stats, and you know, that helps in keeping a guy like Donald alive and killing opponents. So, let's see what these guys are parlaying about. Hey. Hey Donnie, you remember that box trap you helped me make? Well, I caught a boar. Just look at the size of this motherfucker. Dumb to do. It's near as big as the fish I caught thanks to your tricky hook. Whoa. Goodness, I think we're gonna have leftovers tonight. I've done it. I'm gonna be restoring 8% of my HP with that bitch. Yeah. Boar jerky? My mouth's watering just thinking about it. Oh, and speaking of, I was working on ways to improve that trap. I think I've got a better trigger figured out. You should come by and take a look. Yeah. Swell, I got a new hook I wanted to show you anyhow. <laughs> ha ha, listen to us, we're obsessed. Ain't that the truth? We ain't even on larder duty. Yeah. We should be, the way we're, to, the way we're stockpiling provisions. Yeah. I wager the others would think we're at a, we're a right of greedy guns. We're a right pair of greedy guns, the way we're going. That, <laughs> that country talk, man. As much as the country talk throws me off, Donald's a cool guy. I like him. Um, I know. Ah ha ha. Donald and Robin attain support level B. Excellent. So, you know, Donald's also been pairing up with Kellum a lot because of that defense. <coughs> <clears throat> what the fuck? Gosh, Kellum, you about near kill me right now. Where the heck did you come from? Sorry. You're planting bilberry bushes, aren't you? They're my favorite crop. You know, if you mix the soil with clover and bing dung, pig dung, the berries get extra juicy. I bet they do. Shuck my corn. I never knew you were a farmer. Okay. Well, my father tilled the soil, but my brothers and I helped out in the fields. If you want, I can help you out, too. I owe you. That's a mighty kind offer, Callum. I surely appreciate it. I've been planting the bushes in pots so I can move them around, but there's just so many. Now, the interesting thing is that every character in this game can have a relationship with every character? What? Folks think Barry Pickens a doodle, but they're dead wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I mucked around in the soil. Truth is, I kinda miss it. Yeah. Well, I'm much obliged. You mind starting them pots while I'm in the store's tent? Wow. Goodness, that's an awful lot of bilberry bushes. They must be hundreds. <laughs> Seeing as how they're so popular, I wanted to make sure I had enough for everyone. Okay. Well, I guess I better get to work before these niggas forget where I am again. And they got level C, so that's good. Uh, now, so who's Robin been trying to mess with? Let's see, Robin. Oh, Virion. You know, I've been doing a lot of pair-ups lately. Um, so if the Cavalier is spread out in a fan, and the Pegasus Knights sweep in from the flank. My, my. Goodness, I can practically see smoke rising from your head. Whatever could have you working at such a fevered tilt? Yeah. yeah. I've been practicing strategies and scenarios on this game board. Like your boy here. Um, after a hundred forced marches, these pieces are still ready for more. It saves me from running everyone ragged with training exercises. Yes, yes. How very clever. You even carve little enemy forces for them to fight. Kind of like what I'm doing right now with you guys. I'm impressed, and that doesn't happen often with other people like me. Hmm. Well, as long as I control friend and foe alike, it's not as effective as I'd prefer. After all, I can't plan for the unexpected when I know all the moves ahead of time because of critical fucking hits. Ah, yes. Then permit me to be your opponent. I shall strike with the nobility of the line and defend with the grace of the song. <sighs> Virion, that was kind of gay, but swans are good defenders. Never mind, I accept. So then, we'll take turns moving units until one of us claims the other commander. Agreed? Ah, yes. Agreed and agreed again. Oh, what fun. Begin, please, by all means. Hold, I need to retract my last move. <laughs> ha ha! Bro, the, um, were, that all, were that all enemy general so generous, but alas, this is war. Checkmate, my good sir. Blast, I'll hate to admit it, but I am well and truly beaten. <sighs> oh ho, and I told you I was both a lion and a swan, did I not? Hmm. More like a chicken at the far end of a horse. 
I'm no noble lord, but your strategy wasn't exactly what I'd call honorable. No! Heavens, aren't we plain spoken? <laughs> Still, I appreciate the practice. Thank you, Virion. No, huh? If you wish me to unleash my dishonorable strategies again, you have but to ask. Virion, man, that, that guy, I don't like him too much yet, but he's useful, considering that he's a far range guy, so I can admit 